Today we're going to talk about creating a Rhino template file for use with Orca 3D. A Rhino template file holds default settings for things like your units, your grid settings, uh, your Orca 3D orientation, company name, logo, etc. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the Rhino units. And right now my units are set to millimeters, which is fine, that's what I'll use. But notice that the tolerance is very, very small. And that will cause issues down the road when I'm trying to uh, join poly surfaces and create those poly surfaces for things like uh, Orca 3D Marine CFD or for subdivision and so forth. So I'm going to set that to something that's more reasonable. Then in the Orca menu, I'm going to go to Properties. And here we have a number of things that we might want to uh, preset. So for example, a project title, but maybe you'll change that for each project. So I'll leave that as default. But here you might put in your company name. And if you'd like, you can choose a logo file uh, that will go on any of the uh, reports. Next, let's talk about units. So we just set the Rhino length units, but other units are handled by Orca 3D. So we can show those units and you, you see all the different kinds of units that Orca uses. And you can choose from some preset, the SI kilograms, SI tons, imperial pounds, imperial long tons, or you can switch to a custom unit setting. And as your starting point, you can copy from one of the defaults. So for instance, if you wanted to use SI kilograms, but you wanted your speed uh, to be in meters per second, you could go in and make that change. And this is just a reminder that the Orca units don't affect the Rhino length units. One thing to keep in mind if we go back to the units here is that the area is not necessarily related to the Rhino length unit. So right now my Rhino length unit is millimeters, but my area, which would be used for things like the sectional area curve, are still in meters squared. But I can change that if I like. An important setting here is the model orientation. So we don't uh, prescribe which axis corresponds to longitudinal, transverse, or vertical, or even which direction. That's up to you to tell ORCA uh, which direction is your forward direction and which direction is your up direction. And again, this can be important for things like uh, ORCA CFD, for the resistance predictions in the Savitsky or Holtrope methods, and also uh, setting up a frame system for subdivision. Another setting that you might want to do here is the uh, fluid type, whether you're working in seawater or freshwater by default for hydrostatics. Now, of course, all of these things can be changed for any individual model, but it's good to have some of them set as a default if they're pretty consistent in the way that you use them. So now that we've got that set, we're going to go to the file menu and say save as template and I'll say Orca 3D uh, millimeters and save that and Rhino uses a particular folder for the te template files now to set that as a default for the future, if I go to the file menu and say new and select that, I can check this box that says use this file when Rhino starts. And by default, that template will be loaded each time you uh, start Rhino. And that's all there is to setting up a Rhino template file. So that can be very useful uh, so that you don't have to remember to reset your orientation or reset your units. Um, all that will be done for you each time you start.